guys, GNC here, and today I want to do a quick review on Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now, let's hit these points really quick and get out of here. First things first, story, not too great. It's, it's almost the same as Xenoverse 1. You even have the same villains for the most part, besides um, the... Uh, Oh, goodness, I can't remember his name. The final guy in Xenoverse 1, he doesn't make a return. That's because you kind of got rid of him last game. But the other two villains from that game are here, and it's 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 not great. It's just okay. If you played this game and didn't play Xenoverse 1, though, it's probably pretty cool. Because you don't know any of this stuff. You don't know these characters, and... It's a new experience. But for those of us that have played Xenoverse 1, it is like redoing what you've already done. And that's my biggest issue with the game as a whole. Most of it feels like redoing what I've already done. Except with higher quality. <laughs> like this game feels like it could be Xenoverse 1.5. You have the bigger hub world so you, you don't get all the excessive loading from transferring from one spot of the hub world to the next and then you have the slightly better combat which some people argue is just, just amazingly you know improved where I didn't see you know too big of a difference but I didn't play this game all competitive like and stuff so I guess I wouldn't notice it. <laughs> and then you have the added transformations for characters. But I guess that would go into combat, so there's that. But the biggest difference in this game and the last one has to be the expert missions where you have six people fighting one person. Well, one um, boss. And to be honest, it's it's... It's not much different than just doing a regular parallel quest, except you have six people instead of three. Which actually would hinder me because I don't have six people I'd ever want to play with at the same time. Well, I guess you need five because you're included in the six, but still. I don't have five people I'd want to play this game with at the same time. Heck, I don't have five people that I play games with that have this game. So... Regular parallel quests will be fine with me. There are a hundred of them in this game, and they're... Oh, goodness. What can I say? It's still kind of like playing the last game. Except for the stuff with new characters. Which, by the way, there are some new characters. You got You even have some super characters in this game. And I don't mean they're super as in they're cool or they, they transformed and got gold hair. No, I mean they're from Dragon Ball Super. Like Future Trunks, uh, Black Goku, Hit, and you have um, the what you call it, the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan versions of Vegeta and Goku. So yeah, it's it's great if you like Dragon Ball. Like to the normal average individual, if they played both of these games it would feel like you've just redone the same thing. If you're a Dragon Ball fan, it feels like you've done the same thing, but you like it because it's Dragon Ball. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's it's kind of hard to explain how I feel about this. Because it's not like I dislike the game, but it's not like I love it either. So, for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, the return to questing and grinding, I'd have to give it a 3. Solid 3. That's, that's 3 out of 5. That is my rating for this game. It is average. And that's pretty much it. It is an average game. But, here's my thing. If you're a Dragon Ball fan, and if you... If you played the first one, it would be bumped up ever so slightly 
to a 3.5. And if you didn't play the first game, this game will be like amazing because you don't feel like you've already done it. So it'd be a solid four. If you're a Dragon Ball fan and didn't play the first one, it's a four. But for me, although I am a Dragon Ball fan, I would understand people that aren't, so I'd have to give it a three. And that's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. See you next time. Peace out and have a great day.